With a total of 10 golf courses to look at, we took a look at all of them to bring you the top six golf courses throughout the country of Cyprus. Let's zoom on in to this island dwelling oasis of a golf course to number six on our list. And of course, we're going to show a little bit of footage and talk about the history of the golf course uh, and also the yardage and as much information as we could pull. Having a little bit of history on this list, this course was built in 1992 and is open as listed year-round. The course stretches only 4,919 meters. It is a par 69 and it's listed as semi-private. It's 18 holes of some championship golf. It has a driving range and other amenities, but the actual backdrop of this golf course is what people are most attracted to when visiting and hopefully on our list we can get over to this golf course because it's only number six and there's going to be some good golf coming up the course is rated and the club is associated in part-time with the cypress golf federation and it's important to note that this is just one of six golf courses that we were able to pull and drop off and this is an opinionated list and we're looking forward to some comments down below so we can continuously update this list let's move on to our number fifth golf course. The course is listed as a golf paradise within the country and is only open April 2007. Now here we have some pictures of the golf course, but most importantly, we got some great aerial footage we were able to pull. 18 holes of championship golf course. The course stretches 6,232 meters for a par 72 designed for all types of golfers as listed on its website designed by david hermstock and constructed by peter henderson it's located in north cyprus again with the grand opening just a few years ago the average green is about 500 square meters also had located with two lakes and the average tee boxes for each one of the holes is five. So that's pretty strong, and it's got some pretty unique backdrops. We're hoping to get out there and play some of this course. If you played any of these or if we're missing one of the golf courses you love in this country, let us know down in the comment section below. But arguably, this one might even want to go higher on our list. But right now, we have it breaking in at our top five. It's a public golf course with green fees for the summer season about $75, but it looks like you can go up to, in the spring season, the busy time, 115 euros. Both of these are in euros, 75 euros. You get a nine hole rate for 40 euros, it's pretty strong. It's got 44 electric carts. Uh, it's got club rentals, shoes available. It's got all the, got the, got the pro shops, it's covers all your needs if you're looking to play golf for one of the most prestigious golf courses in Cyprus. And that's what we do here. We try to bring you those most prestigious ones. Let's zoom on in to our number fourth golf course so far, breaking in and swinging in to number four. This resort style golf course is a par 72 that stretches along 5,902 meters. And you can see right off the bat that we're not playing around with this golf course. It's a long one. And we got some good pictures of this course that we were able to go uh, during our time there. Now the slope here is a 134. It's pretty, it's pretty arguable that that's a hard slope so far for this country. And it might get a little harder if you if you hang on tight. Now the rating here is a 72.1. Of course, got some history being built in 1994. It's open year-round and it's built by famous golf designer Donald Steele. Now he's built some amazing courses. There has been some updates in 2006 by some notable golf architects. Uh, for the most part, it's pretty reasonable. It's a public course. Uh, it's got driving range, pull carts, golf carts. Looks like we're be spending about 100 euros, maybe a little bit more at this course. Let's hopefully get some good footage of that course next time we get on that that area. Now we're breaking into the top three golf courses so far in this country. It's important to note that we hit every country so far on this list. So if you missed one or if you, if you want to go back and take a look at another country, we have that on our channel. And we're going to be looking at another resort style course open if you're at the resort type style. And it's a par 71. Course stretches another long 6,192 meters. It's a slope of 134.5 and a rating 
of 73.4. Course was opened in 2010. It's open year round and it's a Nick Favio course. It's public and it's open to people that want to pay a bunch of money to play. Now, I will say, hopefully we'll get out there and play this course. Now let's move in to our top two golf courses left in the country to take a look at. And there's no secret here that Secret Valley is going to be on our list, but it's not our number one. A lot of people put it at our number one. PGA's put it at the number one. Golf Now's put it at the number one. We're going to put it at number two here. Let's take a look at the secret at Secret Valley. It's been ranked a top golf course in the country almost year in and year out, and that's because it's nestled within the scenic valley of maple trees and beautiful natural golf formations. And that's important on this channel because we try to find those. You can see right here on that groove, and we got some good footage of this course to hang on, and we got zoom in. The course is a championship style course with a total of six tee boxes to choose from. It has Bermuda grass fairways and the grass on the greens are unique in that they're bent grass greens. It has a total of four restrooms throughout the golf course with also vending machines located right next to it. It has sea views throughout most of the holes and it's about a 10 minute drive from the big international airport so you can just swing on in if you're looking to play some good golf. The driving range is pretty long and you could practice there. It's got three full practicing greens, one chipping, one putting, and one pitching green. Very interesting. Two full-size bunkers at the practice facility, and also a um, little warm-up putting green right next to the green tee-off on number one. This is a championship-style course, and maybe the reason that we didn't put it at number one is that we could stretch this video a little bit harder to get us some more footage of this interesting golf course that we're hoping to get out there and play with some major funding coming in from golf brands from this channel now that's probably not going to happen that's why we need your comments down below so that if we do need any updates on these type of videos we can make those updates on the next updated video for that country now let's get a little bit more aerial footage on google maps because that's where we belong because these are hard courses to try to get out and play within the next couple years hopefully we get out and play this one with those type of scenic views it's a bucket list golf course to tell a story and to learn about the area and most importantly to probably have the most fun at a golf course you can play and that's what we do here is try to bring that to you where are those at where are those courses that you could try to play and have the most fun and this is number one so it's probably at this golf course located right here the course has been considered a rival to cypress and pebble beach so it's got to be a good golf course right well let's zoom on in to this course and we see houses right off the bat and that's typically not what we like to see on these type of channels but off of this aerial footage you can see that there's something unique happening here it's a resort style course that's a par 71 it stretches 6289 yards it's a parkland style course and has a slope of 135 one of the highest on this list it's a rating is 73.4 and it was built only in 2001 by campbell robinson now it's golf season is typically in the springtime, but look at some of these aerial footage that we were able to pull of some of the first couple holes on this golf course. You know, it's the reason that we try to get out here and play this course, because some of these backdrops here is the reason we put it at number one. It's pretty reasonable when it comes to those type of prices. That is, it's listed right at about 180 euros to play this golf course with the green fees, but you might have to book in advance. There's no guarantee with that, but this is our number one golf course for this country it's important to note that we've hit every country that you could think of and have at least done a top five or top ten of that country now we're gonna go back and hit some of these big players like India and the Philippines so you're gonna want to subscribe below for those updated videos of better videos and we're using your comments down below to make changes to the top ten so even though it starts off opinionated it's eventually going to be communitized into a community of top golf courses that hopefully we'll get to play we're only trying to target those public golf courses that we could play but when it comes to these countries we want to make sure that we get 
those beautiful golf courses that maybe are private. And that's going to do it for our list. Keep a lookout for more videos to come. If you haven't, subscribe down below. This is World Twilight Golfer. Go An average golf membership is going to cost you right around $1,000 to $5,000. Now we're going to be bringing you those top 10 most expensive